what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome to only tech this is actually my first video so I hope you guys do enjoy but anyway I got this quick little video on how to actually speed up your Samsung Galaxy device whether it be the S2 the S3 the S4 it doesn't really matter but if you're on a two-year plan your phone's gonna get bogged down and go kind of slow without further ado let's go ahead and hop right into it so the first thing we're gonna be going over is some basics basically every once in a while you want to close all your active applications you can do this by holding the home button and then going to that application manager like that and hit close all. Now the next thing we're going to be going over is the uh, task manager. So once again hold the home button go into task manager and you can end some active applications that never actually close by doing uh, pressing end all. And the next thing we're going to go to is the RAM tab up at the top and we're just going to go ahead and simply clear the memory. Now this will get rid of some, uh, just free up some space on your RAM so it can run a little bit faster. And um, another thing you can actually do is head over to downloaded and pretty much with this you can actually go to each application and move it to an SD card. So if your internal storage is getting uh, bogged down and getting a little bit full you can actually move it to your SD card and uh, so that's pretty useful. I actually did that the other day with all my apps that I could so that's pretty useful. And one of the big things here is turning off power saving mode. So go ahead and pull down the drop down menu and head over to the power saving mode option or you can find it in settings. Make sure that is disabled because that really does bog down your phone a lot. Before I was lagging from just trying to make text messages and things like that. So uh, definitely disable that. The next thing we're going to be talking about is a cleaner. You can use whatever cleaner you want. I personally use Clean Master. It's free. So in the app here we have, uh, it shows you your device storage and your SD card storage, etc, etc. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is clear our junk. So pretty much just go ahead and click the junk tab and we're going to clear that out. It's going to calculate all the junk files on the phone which are safe to clear and then once it does it'll show you how big they are like 514 megabytes that's half a gig so that's definitely useful. Go ahead and clear that out and we'll do that. The next thing we have here is uh, some tasks. So you can go ahead and click on the tasks in your cleaner device and view all the running tasks and things like that and you can actually close all them out and it will free up some space as you can see I can clean about 400 400 megabytes there and uh, so once again that's a half a gig of RAM that you're cleaning so that's that's very very useful to do and the next thing we're actually gonna do is boot into recovery and clean our system cache so what you want to do is hold the up button the home button and the power button all at the same time and wait till you see the boot screen then let go of the power button and you should see a little blue text line up at the top right that says booting into recovery or something like that. So go ahead and boot into your recovery mode and wait for that to load up. You'll see something like this and then it'll load up and show you some options. Now in the options we have a bunch of things but all we're looking for is wipe cache partition. So you can navigate by using the arrows go all the way down to wipe cache partition and then you can hit the power button to uh, to select it. So uh, use the arrows to navigate and the power button to select. So go ahead and select that and it will clean all the cache. It's pretty quick. Uh, as you can see, it's already done right there. Um, but and in the bottom, it'll say formatting cache and then cache wipe completion. So now what you can do is navigate up to reboot system now and you are successfully done cleaning your Samsung device. Um, so that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Once again, if you did, please drop a like down below. And until next time, guys, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you in my future videos.